For ACUsports.com, I'm Chris Macaluso, and joining me this afternoon is assistant coach for ACU Track and Field. He's in charge of the pole vault crew. It's Corey Aguilar. Coach, how you doing this afternoon? Great to see you again. It's great to be here. I'm doing great. You have a very talented pole vault crew coming back this year, um, and it's being led by uh, Kenzie Mascaro. Um, I learned earlier today that um, you all are going to redshirt uh, Kenzie this indoor season. She won't get a chance to defend her um, pole vault title at the Southland Conference Championships. Um, but first, I want to get from you, because she's a team captain, uh, what kind of influence um, she's having um, on the members of, of your event, and um, what did her win at conference last year mean to you and, and to this program? Um, you know, Kenzie's been a great leader for this group. Uh, you know, w when I came back, we had we had no pole vaulters. It was it was her, and so um, this program has kind of begun to rebuild, starting with her. And so, um, you know, she has has gained a lot of experience over the, over the last couple of years, and has been a great leader to the incoming freshmen um, and sophomores that we have right now. You have eight uh, members of your pole vault group: um, four men, four women. Um, you have a couple of returners, some very talented ones, uh, ones who have scored before, Jaden DeMent on the men's side and uh, Mackenzie West on the women's side. Um, five of them, however, are brand new to ACU. Um, as an alum, as a longtime coach here, how are you getting those newcomers um, ready for just a higher level of competition? Right. You know, when I came back, the goal was to rebuild our vault program. And, and you mentioned that Kenzie won last, last year in the indoors. Um, and that was big. That was big because um, we haven't had that in a while. Um, and, and so the goal is to, to rebuild this po program and put ACU back on the map as one of the premier vault schools in the country. Um, and, and it starts with these, these freshmen that are coming in. Um, we've got a few great uh, returners, and, and they're doing a great job being leaders and, and kind of laying that foundation. But it really begins with all these new guys coming in. And, and we've got a great group of vaulters coming in. We've got a lot of talent. Um, so looking forward to this year. Your uh, indoor competition season begins this weekend. Um, a majority of the team is all going down to College Station in Texas A&M for the team invitational down there. But you and the vaulters are going to something a little bit more specific for you. It's the Vault Summit in Reno, Nevada. Um, kind of let me know what what's being entailed th this whole weekend for you and your vaulters that you're bringing. Um, yes, we are going to Reno. Um, the Reno Vault Summit is a huge pole vault competition. There's going to be vaulters from all around the world, um, Olympians, world champions. It's a great place just to get um, vaulters to get exposed to just what's out there and to kind of get them thinking bigger. And so that was that was one of the reasons we wanted to go this year. Like I said, our goal is to rebuild this vault program. Um, and we've got a lot of freshmen. We've got a, a lot of young kids. And so to take them and to, for them to be able to see some of the elite vaulters and just Get them thinking bigger. That, that was the goal, and I'm really excited about going. Coach, it sounds like a fun trip, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck this weekend as you guys go out to Nevada for that uh, tremendous vault summit. For acusports.com, I'm Chris Macaluso, along with assistant coach Corey Aguilar, saying go Wildcats. Go Wildcats.